What's up, my loves? Welcome back. You already know my name is Kresha, and I'm here to help you boss up, period. So if you would like to sit with me one-on-one -on -one and talk to me about your specific person so I can boss you right on up so you can have your manifestation, then go ahead and email me at lovelysecret90 at gmail.com. Or you can go ahead and click the link in the description box below and sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching with me now. There is no wait. And see them only as doing what you want, as being a servant to you. Whatever you're thinking about, that's what they are thinking about. This is what your specific person is thinking about when you are affirming. Keep in mind, a specific person can be anyone. It can be a boss, family member. It can be your ex. It can be a person that you never met before. It can be anybody for whatever reason. So when you start saying your affirmations and you're saying it daily, multiple times, then they are going to start to think about you. So if you're seeing his name everywhere or her name everywhere, or if you're seeing um, things that remind you of this person, like their car or like uh, some people that resemble them, things like that. They are going to see your name and they're going to see things that remind them of you because you are attracting them back to your life. If you're putting out guilt or if you're pulling out lack or if you're putting out not being good enough or, you know, like they would never want you, you can't see them coming back to you, then that's what you, that's what they're going to keep on thinking. That's what they're going to keep on thinking, that you're not good enough for them to contact you. Or like if you feeling all less confident, then that's what they're going to keep on feeling like. She's not confident enough for me. I'm just not. That's not what I want. If you putting out chase energy, they're going to keep running from you. They're going to keep running from you because that energy, nobody can handle that energy. Whatever you are affirming, then you are taking that free will away. That is how you manipulate somebody's free will. And don't be on here talking about, I don't want to mess with nobody's free will. Look, if you don't want to mess with somebody free will, then you they're going to mess with yours. How about that? Like I said, over here in the boss up zone, we don't care about taking away their free will because one thing you're going to do is treat me the way I want to be treated in my reality. Okay, like, I don't got time for that. Especially you making them do what it is that you want. And just because, let me tell y'all this, just because you manifesting somebody does not mean that you need to tolerate that version of them if they're being disrespectful. Because the disrespect, that's what I don't do. That's what I don't do. Okay? You're not going to disrespect me and think that, like, I'm just going to be cool with that. You're not going to make me feel cheap. You're not going to make me feel left out. You're not going to make me feel less than a queen in my reality. I mean, that's just not going to, that's not going to happen. Whatever you're thinking about in this moment, that's the way they're going to see you. So if it's anything less than being a boss, then uh, you're not putting out the type of energy of manifesting fast. And over here, like, you know, we, we just trying to manifest fast, quick, easy, simple, so that we can go on to the next and get whatever else that we're trying to manifest. Whatever they're showing up, the way they're showing up, they're just the messenger of what you've been thinking about what you've been affirming to yourself and yes people affirm negatively to themselves so and whatever you see in your 3d that whatever just got delivered because you was affirming on monday that you wasn't good enough and that they was gonna cheat on you or that you felt like this was just too good to be true when you had them on a the pedestal on monday and your delivery and your delivery came to you on friday with some, some shit that you didn't want when they showed up like that it's because you were affirming and not even realizing it in a negative way. And they showed up like that. You don't have to choose to accept that. You don't have to choose to continue to live that life or that reality. You have 60,000 thoughts per day. And if most of those are negative, then you're going to need to start saying those affirmations, your powerful affirmations, multiple times a day throughout the day, especially when you think about them. I don't care who they are. I don't care who they are. They're, they're extras. Pigeons, birds, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. That's what they are. And so we're not looking up to somebody. 
we look down on them, okay? Because the reason why I say down, and I'm not saying be disrespectful to nobody, but I'm saying you're looking down because you're sitting on your throne and you're feeling like a boss, okay? So if you wanna talk to me one-on-one -on -one and you ready to really speed this shit up, then go ahead and email me right now lovelysecret90 at gmail.com and I'm gonna boss you right on up because I'm not playing no games now rewind this shit and let it fit